the Archdiocese of Toronto, and the National Catholic Broadcasting Council. Through the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, presents Sunday TV Mass. Join us in a prayer for vocations. O God, Father of all mercies, provider of a bountiful harvest, send your graces upon those you have called to gather the fruits of your labor. Preserve and strengthen them in their lifelong service of you. Open the hearts of your children that they may discern your holy will. Inspire in them a love and desire to surrender themselves to serving others in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Teach all your faithful to follow their respective paths in life, guided by your divine word and truth. Through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, humbly hear our prayers and grant your church's needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of the Sunday TV Mass on the fourth Sunday of Easter and the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. I'm Cardinal Collins. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from an anonymous donor from Scarborough, Ontario. This Mass is offered for the repose of the souls of Christine and Brandon Lee, Gloria L. Chin, Mama Chinny, their deceased family members, for Lillian's deceased family and friends, and for all the holy souls in purgatory. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. Today is also Mother's Day in Canada and many other countries. We remember all mothers who lovingly care for their families. And we also give thanks for all grandmothers whose actions and prayers sustain many families. And for all our mothers who have died. Today also marks the 59th anniversary of the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Today, we come together as a Catholic community all over the world to publicly fulfill the Lord's instruction to pray to the Lord of the harvest, to send laborers into his harvest. Over this past week, the Daily TV Mass community has joined together in prayer for an increase in vocations to the ordained ministries, priesthood and diaconate, consecrated life in all its forms, male and female religious life, married societies of apostolic life, consecrated virginity, to the missionary life and for those living in a single state. Pope Francis has asked the church to continue to promote vocations. The Holy Father reminds us that our prayers will touch the hearts of the faithful and enable each person to discover with gratitude God's call in their lives and to find the courage to say yes to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. As we prepare now to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, O Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach to where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
Paul and Barnabas went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. When the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jewish officials saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy, and blaspheming, they contradicted what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord. And as many as had been destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. But the officials incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. So they shook the dust off their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. A reading from the book of Revelation. After this, I, John, looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. And one of the elders then said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away 
every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Many times when I celebrate Mass, especially in schools, I put on the vestments uh, before Mass because they explain uh, very much what our faith is all about in a visual way. And one of the things I explain and speak about is the crozier, the shepherd's staff. Did bring it today, but here it is. Just imagine the shepherd's staff. It is a sign of responsibility for others, just as the shepherd is responsible for the flock, caring for them and going after the sheep that have gone astray and to bring them back. So too, the shepherd is a sign of my responsibility as a bishop, particularly of this diocese, but also it can speak to the responsibility all of us have as mothers, fathers, brothers, sister, parent, child, friends, it said in the early part of the, in Genesis, you know, am I my brother's keeper? And yes, we all are. We all have responsibility for others. And so I think we think about that sense of responsibility as we reflect upon this Sunday, when we think of Christ the Good Shepherd, the one who cares for us, who takes us together and nurtures us, nourishes us. As uh, it says in the book of Jeremiah, I will give you shepherds according to my own heart, and they will feed you with knowledge and doctrine. And so it is when we look to Christ, the Good Shepherd, and we see in the, the gospel today how he speaks uh, of the way in which uh, those entrusted to his care will never be lost, for the Father has entrusted them to his care, and he will be with them as the shepherd of the flock. That is what we look to when we see our Lord Jesus Christ. And we reflect the way in which we, in different ways, share in that mission of responsibility. Not everyone needs to invest in a crozier, that's uh, just uh, for bishops, but we all share in responsibility. And uh, we think in, in different ways of that. In a particular way this weekend, uh, we think of those who are called to a specific mission or vocation, they're called, which is what a vocation means, to service within the whole church, to serve their brothers and sisters in Christ. All of us have a certain mission that way as we see in the book of Revelation, the second reading today, we are all washed and white in the blood of the Lamb through the sacrament of baptism, basically. We're all called to reach out to others, to care for those entrusted to us. But a particular way, I think this Sunday, we think of those who follow through ordination or religious life or in different ways like that or specific service in the footsteps of Christ the Good Shepherd to care for us all. We see that we need to reach out to the scattered nurture the gathered. That's for all of us, and I think it's particularly what we expect of the spiritual leaders of the church as well. We look to the Acts of the Apostles. They're reaching out. They're proclaiming the word with boldness. 
And that's what we all need to do in whatever place we're put in life. And also we see in the gospel, of course, that caring for those entrusted to us so that they may see always in us the face of Christ, the good shepherd. May all of us have the grace and the wisdom to fulfill that mission in a particular way. We pray for those who are called to serve in the priesthood or religious life or in other services of the whole church. Now let us join together in our profession of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. During this week, the masses for prayers for vocations. The Heavenly Father hears the prayers of each member of the daily TV mass community as we ask you to guide those who are discerning their calling in this life. For all parents and grandparents in our community, that they may instill a positive regard for the priesthood, diaconate, or religious life as a wholesome lifetime for their sons and daughters that they might consider, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for Christian families, a source of religious vocations, that they may be prompted to encourage young people to rejoice in doing God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our young men and women whom God is calling to serve as priests and religious, that they may have the grace of God to hear the call and the support of their family and friends and to answer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all married couples, that they may uh, continue to live their vocation of love as an example to their families and to the world of the communion of persons reflecting the love of the Trinity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you have shown us the wonders of your love through your Son, Jesus Christ. Keep us safe from all harm and help us to grow in grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased to receive us and accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all my sins. Thank you. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, we accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, be your unworthy servant and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another a sign of the peace of Christ. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. <laughs>